too. Uh, can't believe we're gonna be here for like 10 days. More, more like two weeks since we're, we like. Look at this. Oh, I guess we can walk. Yep. We have like a 60 second time limit, so. Oh, it's crazy. Oh yeah, feels like the Philippines. So hot in here. Oh yeah, they like the bike too in Taiwan. Yeah, uh, I think like two streets up you can get the rental bikes there. Just pull one out. Wow. Yeah, that's one even has a city bike. Yeah. Mm. Oh, by the way, where, where do you want to go first of all? It doesn't matter, wherever you want. Because, like, the cell phone's shopping. The cell phone's there, there's 7-Eleven everywhere, we're just going. I guess, yeah. Get there time we're done. Yeah. And then, oh, there's also Family Mart too, which is kind of well known in Taiwan as well. So, again. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's such a, thank God it's a nice day out. It's some tropical island, Holmes. Every day's gonna be a nice day out. I, I know. Or it's gonna be raining. <laughs> Either one. Oh yeah, we have to endure the monsoon season. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. There is a 7-Eleven over there. I've already been down here. Yeah. I walked around a couple blocks. Ah, I see. Fun. You didn't get any weird looks from people? Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah? I wore long sleeves. <laughs> I cannot believe they have no, a cocoa. Cannot believe it. We have cocos that just open in downtown Chinatown, and that, and they also have one here too in Taipei. It's crazy. And it's global. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That's why I knew about the place actually. So when I saw there's a coco, I think I think you might like this one because they're very well known. See? Oh, the brand star here. Go I don't know, honestly. I just know that it just opened up in um, the Chinatown location in, uh, my, in my city. So, again, I don't know if it was Taiwanese based or anything, but again, this looks really good. So. This first time trying uh, bubble tea. I can't believe it. I'm sorry to say that. It's okay. You, you poke it through and pull it a little. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so. You just poke it through the middle, like... Oh yeah, it's got a point. Okay. Yeah, it's got a point, so not to worry. Just stab it with all you got. There. Oh, my, my bad. Just don't be a... Don't hesitate. Oh. Careful. Don't hesitate. Oh, no, be careful. <laughs> I know, the I just... The worst guider ever. Alright. It's okay. Alright. Okay, cheers to the first cheers bubble tea. Cheers bubble tea. It's what it tastes like. How do you feel? Mine is amazing. Because mine has like the caramel pudding inside, as you can see. So I paid like an extra five Taiwanese dollars for that. I think I said it right. Like a little coins. Again, I don't know. It's our, it's, it's our first time buying something here from Taiwan. Bubble tea, the origin of where it came from. Mm -hmm. The OG. Mm -hmm. Good, eh? Yes. Food, no tobacco. I mean, the pictures are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I guess this is. A, I think it's like a religious temple, maybe. Yeah, I, it just looked really cool. It's so pretty. Me too. I want to talk to the security guard, but I feel like he was going to stab me. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. In Taiwan, they speak Mandarin Chinese, and I did not study that, unfortunately. I know so little. The most I can do is say ni hao and shi That is it. I learned that today. And you just learned that today. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes the two of us. 
Okay. Gonna try some 7 Eleven food. Fish here, broth, mushrooms. I pretty much pick one of everything. And then tea. Two types of tea there's straight tea, there's lemon tea. Hmm. Literally treat yourself. 